Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be reviewing the new collection by Alamar Cosmetics Spanglish La Colección and I am so excited. I have not been this excited for makeup in a long, long time. <laughs> so here it is, it's a palette, three brushes and the primer. So if you're interested on learning more about this collection, then keep on watching if you're new welcome don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment introducing yourself and i'll be more than happy to respond to all the comments down below and so with that being said let's jump into the video Okay, so the very first time I heard from Alamar Cosmetics was through a BoxyCharm. This palette came in it and I was very, you know, surprised at the quality of this palette, which is, this is their first um, palette and it's called Reina del Caribe 1 and this is how it looks. It is really pretty. This was their very first palette and ever since then I've been so intrigued and just excited about everything that they come out with first because um it is a latina brand brand owner her name is gabby that's another reason why i love it because the name of the ceo and founder of this company her name is gabby she's a cuban uh, girl and um so i don't know it's just something that i am very i don't know it just warms my heart that a latina is just doing so good in the beauty industry and i have to support like i just have to and if the product is good then i am 100 percent buying everything that was my first experience with alamar cosmetics so ever since then i just wanted to you know check them out i follow them follow them on uh, instagram and um i love it i love them i love this company so much so uh, this was actually my first order. So this I got through BoxyCharm and then this was my actual first order. So when I heard about this collection launching, I was like, I have to, I have, I have to, I have to try it out. Like the color scheme is just like my cup of tea. <laughs> um, and so I placed my order. Really smooth, no problems whatsoever. It arrived really fast and i have zero complaints about the shipping and the experience i had through the website zero complaints the whole thing came in something like this which i'm not gonna complain about the packaging because they are a very small company that um, they're just starting so i'm not you know i'm not expecting a, you know a cute box or something like that maybe down the line they're gonna work on that but for in the meantime, they are sending, this is what I got, you know, an uh, envelope with my products in it. And inside, I'm going to show you everything I got, but first I'm going to talk about the collection. So inside was the palette, the brushes, and the primer. And so this is the palette, which is the one thing that I'm really excited about. This is the packaging. Um, I think I'm going to include some clips of my unboxing or just more detailed shots of what I'm showing you guys here but this is the box I love the details like I love packaging so if you are into packaging as well <laughs> that's why I'm showing you um, the package is really cute this is like a raised foil gold foiled so it kind of is raised to the touch like the attention to detail on this is really nice let me just say that in the back you could see um, they have some logos of best used dry and best used wet and so when you open it you can see those same logos right next to the names which is really cool it has a nice big mirror and okay so next we have the primer and this is the box it came in it's a purple the same purple uh, that you see throughout the theme of the collection and then when you 
Infinite. This is the concealer. The consistency of this concealer is uh, first glance is pretty thick. And when you, I, w I was thinking that this primer was gonna be pigmented primer, but it's actually not. It actually is not super pigmented where, where you would need like different types of shades. I think this will work in, on any skin tone. Um, it's pretty sticky and it gets tacky. Next we have the brushes and this is how they come in. And we have, so we have a crease control brush, which is this one. A detail diffuser brush, which I'm pretty sure it kind of works as a blender brush. And a pigment packer brush. And these are the three brushes. So I'm gonna now put it on. So let me put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back for the products. Okay, so I finished my base. I basically just put my primer, foundation, concealer, and powder. Oh, and eyebrows. And that's all I have right now on my face. And we're going to move on to eyeshadows, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> so we're going to go into the colors. But I like it's a shimmery orangey color. It says here you can use it wet or dry. We also have... At its own show, which is a lilac purpley color. It's it's not a you know super dark purple. It's a lilac color. We have DNA Swing, which is a burgundy color, also very shimmery. Um, I see some sparkles of purple in it, so um, yeah, you can use this one wet or dry as well. And we have the color, the color Wow. That one is a purple with hints of, I would say, hints of blue and uh, yeah, definitely a very warm purple. But it's more of a purple, not a not a lilac like the like the first one. This one's definitely lighter okay so uh those are the shimmery shades and then on the bottom we have ik cute which is the first matte color this one it's a pinky i would say it's like a pinkish peachy color definitely it, it's more of a pinky color really nice then we have the color ha 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 which is a brownish color like a transition color really really cute and the next one is a um, muy excited and that one is a orangey burnt color and the last one is ponte hyper oh, that is really nice that's a fuchsia pink color super pigmented all these colors are really pigmented let me show you so we're gonna start off with Ha ha ha. I'm gonna use a, a blending brush. And I'm just gonna put it all over my eye socket. Oh well, this is nice. It blends out so easily. So you can clearly see it's so easy to apply. It blends really nicely 
And so this one I'm just gonna put all over my my eye socket. Okay, so next I think I'm gonna use the Edis on show, which is the um, first purple kind of like lavender shade. And I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid with my finger. Fingers are sometimes the best tools for this type of shadows. So nice. It does have a little bit of fallout, so um, if you don't like that, then just be aware of that. The reason why the fingers are best for this type of eyeshadows is because it has the best color payoff like it's harder to pack on the color with the brush sometimes well look it's already so nice and then um for the outer corner i'm gonna use better like on this side and then i'm gonna blend it all together So now I'm going to use the pigmented packer and I'm going to apply that here and try to start blending those two colors together. Now I'm going to use the detail diffuser brush and I'm going to use the color again the ha 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 and I'm going to blend out these edges right here. The only thing that this palette doesn't have, which it's okay with me because I usually sometimes use the highlight, my the highlight that I'm using on my face. Um, I use it also for the highlight portion of my eye. So this palette doesn't have that one, but that's fine. I'm gonna be using the one from uh, the other palette and I'm gonna be using La Costa, which is a super light color. And so on the Instagram account, they, um, Gabby used one of uh, the, eye the lip liners that she came out with as a eyeliner also. She said it's completely fine. So I got lip liner called Coquetas. And this one is a very dark brown. Yeah, really nice and super smooth. And so I'm going to be using that as an eyeliner. So I don't want to put like a really dark or like a black liner. I just want some definition on my lash line. And so yeah, that's going to be the eyes. I laugh guys because I this is this is new to me okay I am a very new youtuber <laughs> um, so I am messing up big time yeah I'm best I'm messing up a whole bunch you might not see it on the edited version but I am messing up like at one point I had the mirror like right here like are you serious are you serious Gabby like like the point of this is for people to see it. God, I'm so annoyed at myself. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put mascara. Okay, so I put my lashes off camera and so I wouldn't take too long on here. And uh, now I'm gonna move on to the, um, the rest of the face. So I'm gonna actually put a little bit of the Ike Cute color and do it right here. So this is a very interesting brush. I don't have anything like it in my collection. You can actually 
Uh, use this um, on your crease to diffuse some color or like I'm doing it right now underneath my eye. Okay, and I'm also gonna use IKQ as a blush. So I'm gonna put it on my blush brush and put it on my cheeks. This is so cute. IKQ. <laughs> I used to say that a lot. Okay, I need to blend that out. I feel like these lashes are really I haven't used this type of lashes in a long time. <laughs> and um, I also got their really famous bronzer, Brighton and Bronze Complexion Trio. Let's see. So nice. Yeah, I was already out of bronzer, so I'm like, this is the time I need to order this collection and try out the bronzer so they also came out with brushes for the face for when they came out with the bronzer that i was really tempted on trying but i didn't want to take advantage <laughs> then and then uh just scare my my husband on my future order so this is inside. I put a whole bunch of blush. I'm gonna try to diffuse some of it with the bronzer. I'm gonna put some of this bridge of my nose. I'm also going to brighten with the um, Woke shade. I'm gonna brighten right here. And I'm gonna use the La Costa from the uh, other palette as my highlighter. I'm just trying to use all the products that I can on my face from Alamar. Like the blush, I didn't, you know, I don't have the blush from them yet. Okay. <laughs> so I just used the pinky IK Cute shade, and um, that's that's for me what makeup is. This is just fun. Like if it, if you don't like it, if you don't like how it looks, uh, you can just take it off and redo it, or take it off and don't do it. That's what makeup is for me. It's like just a fun way to express myself. And before I had kids, I would just um, play with makeup. <laughs> Whenever I had the chance, I would just play with makeup. Um, I would just do my makeup and enjoy the whole process and then so I would just take an hour or more to do my makeup and my husband would just be waiting there for me so that's what makeup is for me it's like just a fun way to <laughs> express myself so I'm almost done and now I'm gonna use the other lip liner that I got from them it's the birthday suit and it's a very nude this lip liner is basically the color of my skin. <laughs> so this is the final look guys. I am really happy with everything that I got in the end result. As you can see it's a super fun sparkly palette and I love it. Like half of it is sparkly and then half of it is matte colors. And I think that's the perfect combination um, if you're into purples and if you're into pinks, I think you're really going to enjoy this palette. Um, I really loved it. It has a little bit of cake off, so if you don't mind some fallout on your, your cheeks, I suggest you do your eye makeup before you do your foundation. Um, but that was the only thing that I would say it's um, 
you know it's a it gets a little messy you see like when you press on it with an eyeshadow it gets dusty really fast so that's the only thing that i would you know say about this palette what i don't i don't mind it um it's just something that i wanted to to mention and as far as the eye primer i really really liked it because it gets tacky and that helps with the makeup application and the and the eyeshadow brushes they are really different from what i already have i already have a lot of pigment packer brushes so this one's you know nothing new i really like it anyways you know you can never have enough of these ones and then this two i don't have anything like this one the crease control brush so this one's a really nice addition to my eyeshadow brush collection and then this one is really good for blending pack and blend one color in one little area but i don't have anything like this in my eyeshadow brush collection so it's also a good addition to my to my makeup tools and what else oh the bronzer really nice bronzer I am going to use the heck out of this thing. I was checking on the files <laughs> and I completely forgot to hit record when I was applying the primer. Can you even believe it? Anyway, pero, pero primero primer, that's how it's called if you didn't get that. <laughs> if, well, I'm pretty sure you didn't because I didn't record it. <laughs> But this is the primer. Um, I have some footage of when I first opened it. But pero primero means but first primer. That's that's what it is. Um, it's like a super cute name. Everyone is saying the same thing. It's like such a clever name for primer. I am so 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 happy that I snagged this once. I actually I think was one of the first orders I am pretty sure because I was on the website when it it was launch time I think it was at 12 o'clock and I was there trying to get it um, you know I didn't want to miss out and I think it's still available if you want to check it out I'll leave the links down below um, also I'm so happy that I got the bronzer and the lip liners where are they oh, here and the lip liners everyone says so many good things about these liners and they are really really smooth they slide on so i am so excited thank you so much for watching um yeah please bear with me as i learn my way through reviewing products i have two other palettes that i got I don't want to say the names of them right now because I want it to be a, surpri a surprise but they are ones that uh, had just launched and they are pretty big names you know like the big youtubers that I like to follow so yeah so be on the lookout for those and um, yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment and subscribe oh my god that's the most important thing please subscribe <laughs> to the channel it would mean a lot to me and um i thank you so so much for sticking with me till the end if you're here listening to this give me a purple heart emoji in the comments that way i'll know that you reached the end <laughs> okay so um yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye